I thought... You go up and start knocking on them? Yeah, I thought these guys said that there was no wine in this town. The barrels in the center of the room are empty. The wine are emblazoned... The wine names are emblazoned on the barrels as the winery's name. Wizard of Wines. Barrels against the east wall contain purple grape mash number three, a cheap wine. The four barrels against the south wall contain red dragon crush, a fine wine. The wine racks contain 30 bottles of purple grape mash number three and 24 bottles of red dragon crush. Uh, among the wine bottles is a rack with one stopper and a label that reads Champagne du Stomp. And it appears to contain a scroll. Well, I will grab one of the bottles of the Red Crush. Okay. Whatever. And I'm gonna Purple look. Grape Mash number three or Red Dragon Crush? Red Dragon Crush. All right. Which was Liquor. the fine wine. I'm going to investigate the scroll as a collector of arcane objects. Do you unro- unroll it and read it right now? Um, sure. Okay. You pull it out, and it appears to be a scroll of Hero's Feast. So what are you doing? You went Staring where? at the idiots going down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for something to happen. I walk halfway know? down the stairs and keep an eye on them. Okay. But like I don't go all the way down in. I'm making sure people aren't following us. And you're doing? Um, I'm pressing the abbot more okay. about getting us a soul. Okay. Or at least how can we find one? He is able to, essentially, he's able to play souls in the dead. In the dead. What could possibly... In the dead? dead? What are your thoughts on it? Hmm. I could kill the baby. Like a possession. (laughs) I'm a... sir. He puts it in some type of euphemistic way of granting a soul to a body... Not like a possession. Because a possession would involve like that one soul would have to be pushed out or controlled by the other. But that a. But you know, if that, uh, you've already. If you were to take like. the soul out, it's the same thing. If the soul was taken out. I start heading back upstairs with. You the, get the hint that he can raise the dead. As well as place souls in empty. With the wine. Alright, you got the wine packed in. Yeah. Okay. Would you know of anything that could prevent a soul? from traversing to its host. New host. There are spells, protection spells, hedging spells. I'm not a wizard. The wizard of Baratok could tell you about those things. Where is he? Isn't he the one in the mountains? Baratok. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Lives out in the wilderness. Oh, yeah, that guy. The The mad wizard, I recall. Okay, so you guys come back up from the basement. Well, I want to do a quick perception. Basement, all that crap, those things, that thing. As you can see on the map, there's no secret doors leading anywhere on the map. (laughs) 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 You look, you're like tapping on the walls. You grab like the statue with the very busty. You're pushing on it like Indiana Jones did. (laughs) Nothing happens. You do it again anyways. And then... Then you lick it once more just to make sure that it doesn't just take a little bit of moisture. So you get the impression that this guy is lawful good nuts. <laughs> lawful stupid? Like, no, not stupid, but like so deluded by his own grand plan that what could go wrong, he's got it all, all the avenues figured out except for probably the most obvious one that could go wrong. Right. But you, uh, oh, do you want to go over and examine his doll-like figure the the Vasilka Vasilka so I gotta raise a question of <clears throat> if he is lawful good which I don't think we didn't we weren't even really doing alignments or whatever right 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 but that's what to put it properly okay um why is he trying to cater towards Strahd to bring peace to the land yeah so oh, he's yeah. he's so insane that he's got this plan, that his plan is the best plan, regardless of you know, peace what happens, yeah. just so that he can bring peace to the land. Yeah. That's how deluded he is. And there must be something more to the story, but you guys don't know what it is. How is it, how is it that he puts to long life and still looks so youthful? I... Do not know. I've always been this way. Remember your childhood? Timeless. I have no memory except being this. Hmm. 
225. <laughs> Rip them off faster. 225. Oh, there it is. I want to rid Barovia of its sickness by giving the devil his heart's desire. I bring salvation to him in this land. I love the creatures I create, including my beautiful golems and the Bellevues. I cannot be corrupted. My heart is pure. My intentions noble and good. Abbot Dr. Maroon. What's this guy's name again? The Abbot. Abbot. The Abbot. It's just hey the Abbot. Abbot. Okay. Abbot. Well, I so, don't think Strahd is gonna like what you give him. You haven't been here very long. Hmm. The only thing he wants is Tatiana. He just wants Tatiana. And I know for exa- I know for we know for certain that. I point to what's your face? Irina. 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 That is what he wants. She's an ordinary soul. What would he want with her? Could be any soul. She's yes. Well, I agree. I agree. She's just ordinary soul. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> I think we should head out of here. In fact, in fact I I, think I we, tend to think she's a lesser soul. Uh, probably more than likely. <laughs> I think we should probably yes, let's just you know. I. What else are we gonna do here? Unless you, you want to check out the rest of the abbey. I sp- you guys are here. You went down to the basement. You have not been upstairs. You look at Creeper. Uh, well, so what's upstairs, Creeper? Um, he's got his servant to ring the bell. He's uh, nice guy and a half and um, <laughs> he, he can play a, a pretty mean loot and um, yeah there's more of his science experiments upstairs I'm familiar with alchemist tools mm-hmm. so are there some of those about here yeah, in this place yeah some of that up mm, yeah okay um, can I just do a quick check on those and see if I glean anything um, not upstairs really okay. That which was a surprise considering what was there um, otherwise, uh, you guys would probably want to head Straight across out. the courtyard over to the other area, or there is a upstairs. Here's the upstairs of this area. There's the open courtyard, and then there's stuff over there that you could explore if you wanted to. Or you can head back to down to town, throw a ring in the pool, say fuck it, and go home. <laughs> 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 Pounds a bitch. <clears throat> Anyways, he just kind of repeats his mantra, goes about his business, goes back to teaching. Do we want to investigate the abbey yeah, or more do we want to? I'm not super comfortable here. I'm not comfortable here. You either. sense no evil in this man. You go up and you get pretty close to him because you got to get pretty close, and he radiates good, like angelic. I could sense madness though. Yeah, if you, <laughs> if you can sense madness. But you're too dumb to sense madness. That's true. Boot beer! Anybody want boot beer? Okay. Mm, I'm okay, thank no you. No caffeine. Nope, no caffeine. High fructose corn syrup, at least they're honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not straight caffeine, but enough sugar that same difference. Boing, boing! All right, so would you like to go upstairs? Any of the rest of you want to go upstairs? Do you want to begin wandering around the place? Do you want to go check out the graveyard? Do you want to go look over the cliff? Hakalugi over the edge? You want to try and dance with Vasilka? So was the prophecy to get Irina here and then... There's no prophecy about Irina's her. kind of creeped out by all this. She just kind of... But what, what, what was the why, so Irina? Why did Irina? Why did you want to come to Crest? Uh, the previous priest said this was coming to save his place. You know, was the, abbot, the abbot would be better protecting of this area. Mm-hmm. But I was strangely drawn to the pool. Why did you take me away from the pool? I did. What happened at the pool? Something happened at the pool. You what got do you, really wet at the pool. What do you oh, remember? <laughs> I just remember seeing the pool, and then I was here. As Mark's like, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, what is Mark? Sis, don't worry about it. Nothing happened in the pool. You're just, you're just tired. 
I pull his mark aside. She could be in serious danger. Here, at the pool. What are we going to do? Where has are we going to take her? Has this happened before where she's lost? We're going to leave her with this nut job so she can <laughs> dance around with Frankenstein here. Maybe we should just check her in. Maybe we should check ourselves in. Oh. Do one of the golems look like uh, Billy Piper? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Um, actually, it looks more like the other girl from Doctor Who in the Bond. Uh, but actually more like did you ever see the river's edge yeah a long time ago. remember the dead body laying on the side of the that all the kids would go up and look at it looks like yeah. that <laughs> yeah. but Amy Pond yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so I, I, I go I ask Ismark has she ever lost periods of time like this before never just those creepy moments when he would sneak down and suck her blood she's been bit what twice now what um, happens on the third bite so I've been in this town for we a while won't let it, we won't is let there it. a church in Cresc is there a uh, there's the gazebo with the shrine and there's the abbey and that's it okay being a mother oh there's just a good place for uh, Irene up here okay <laughs> There's a lot of parents who would love to send their children to an asylum. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's basically what this boy says. So, do you want to go explore the rest of the abbey? Oh, we check out the graveyard. Okay. Uh, you find the same thing in here. A bunch of graves. Look, where was the graveyard? For a grave specifically with father. any, any oh, that titles There were lots father. of gravestones up here. Yeah. Then. yeah. This, this is a sheer cliff face with a short wall. But we came. This is where we came in, we right? We came up these winding Back switchbacks forth. there to there. Okay. And those. Okay. Is that another sheer face right here too? No. This is the this is the courtyard of the abbey. This J-shaped area. There's your contour line. <coughs> but like here, this is always oh, like a little path. Has the road. A little path. Okay. And then here's your well in the middle. There's where people are chained up around various things, making different sounds. You could go up into S14 and check it out. Yeah, I've already been to the graveyard. I'm going to go up to the northern okay. part of the... You guys going to go around and go into this yeah. room here and check it out? Yeah. Okay. All right. The creeper shall lead them. In the foyer, year. room used to be an office, evidenced by the rains of a desk and chair smashed to pieces. There's some hallways, staircase going up, passage... To the east is full of unnatural whisper, whispers, mad laughter, and bestial odors. Uh, I, whatever, whatever, whenever Dave is talking to characters, he has to put this up. <laughs> <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> that is a perfect. Creeper. Oh, God. So do you guys want to try and go upstairs? Do you want to go? Do you want to go up and explore the various cells? Do you want to go around the corner and upstairs? Do you want to go check out the gardens? I Maybe mean, gonna check out the graveyard. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Yeah, you've already been to the graveyard. You're. No. I want to check yeah, out for remember. graves, or I want to look for tombs or graves that have the, the father, the title father on it. So anyway. creeper, where are you oh. at? <laughs> you want to go with creeper? It's probably safer. Or do you want to go to a graveyard? Or do you want to go to the gardens? Where are you gonna be? Ah. Looking for a grave of a father. So just creepers up here. You want to be with Creeper? You want to be with the Grave People? I'm gonna the Necros. I'm gonna recommend we go to uh, the Garden, so it's something better for. Okay. Irina they they, they want to go down here. Do you want to wander up to the Garden by yourself? No, I'm gonna take uh, the girl and and the Burgermeister. Okay, Ismark and yeah, Ismark and Irina. Irina. Irina, yeah, and up to the Gardens. Okay, up at the Gardens. When is... I see when I see. Madrash. Madrash going off with Ismark and Arena. I will follow them. Okay. Because I don't quite trust Madrash. These two are going to go up some dig up some dead bodies. Completely trustworthy. All right. So up here is a garden gatehouse. It appears to be empty. Um, and then beyond it, nestled between the cliffs, is a bunch of rectangular buildings. 
Um, five foot high wall mortared stones, white rabbits nibble on some more turnips rooted out by the cold, two lifeless scarecrows stuffed with with stuffed gullets and sackcloths hang from the wooden crosses pounded in the cold earth. Uh, one scarecrow holds a long bow. Scarecrow? Scarecrow. The abbey's east wing looms over the garden. Shattered window, windows have been blasted outwards, dark and disturbing. Door <clears> leads <throat> with forlorn evidence, which apparently is as abandoned. Isn't as abandoned as it looks. You can hear noises from within laughter and the wailing of things that should not be. There are root vegetables and things being grown here in the snow. A lot of snow here, just like a dusting. Just dusting. You don't know how in the hell they even get leaves or anything to grow from the ground, but evidently it's enough to nourish the souls that are around here. I enter S14. Okay. <laughs> Didn't one of you guys want to? You have entered S14. It was there, yeah. and you uh, then want to wander the hall into S15. Sure. Okay. So as you wander down the hallway, uh, you kind of glance in each of the couple of rooms, and uh, you hear a creaking coming down the stairs as you pass into the hallway, and kind of this shuffling step of like large, cold, dead feet on the pavement of I'll duck into a side room okay maybe it's empty or maybe not, or maybe not. <laughs> did, did any of you guys want to mess with the scarecrows mm-hmm. no nobody wanted one of them's got a longbow where's where the scarecrow just looking? hanging up right on the shoulder of it okay. <laughs> scarecrows up in the garden yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I have no interest in longbow I already have one you sure? Yes. Fine. All right. So, Dave, um, Creeper. Such a creeper. Has crept into the madhouse. The lightless corridor has multiple doors behind which, which creatures that shatter the quiet with their mad cackles and whispered curse, curses. The stench is overpowering. Ugh. Even in the gloom, you kind of peek. You're like creeped. You're like pushed up. There's a door behind you, and you look down the hallway to where you just came in. Even in the gloom, you can make out a monstrous shape lumbering down the hall. When the darkness can no longer hide its true nature, your eyes are treated to a terrifying seven-foot-tall assemblage of human body parts that is looking around that front area that you were just at. The, The door that you have your back to... Uh, was once a shared bench chamber, but its furnishings have been destroyed. Three shrieking Bellevues cower in a shadowy northwest corner. One of them cradles something shiny. Ooh, shiny. Shiny. Across, across the hallway, four of those mongrel creatures brawl amid the wreckage of a bedchamber, with, while the fifth watches and cackles behind a life-sized painted wooden statue of a saintly woman in robes. The creature down there stops at the door with its back to you and just continues to look out into that courtyard. So it's right here mm-hmm. and it's looking out the door and it just stops there. So because I walked in, could it get out if it wanted to? I mean, could. Were there doors? Wanted to. You just had, you're right here in the middle of the hallway yeah. that leads up and down with these little rooms yeah. that you're going to look in and see all those horrifying things. And, but it, the creature's down here in this little area looking out into that courtyard with the people that were shackled. It had come down the stairs while you went this way. You were hiding okay. in this little alcove. Okay. You want to check out the rest of the rooms? It's got its back to you. Or you could just run up and try and stab it in the back and beat it in single-handed combat. Um, can I... <laughs> Wasn't there, some, wasn't there something shiny? I, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of... You can open up the door. The doors are not locked, and uh, the... Creatures, the Bellevues, are now restrained inside. Yeah, I'm going to step into the room and close the door behind me. Okay. Um, one of them cradles a polished brass candlestick as if it was a doll. Uh, candlestick? Uh, yeah. Do you want to try and take it? No. <laughs> Do I get XP? <laughs> <laughs> You're totally level. <laughs> <laughs> you stole a candlestick. Oh, I murder all three. No, okay. 
It's a candlestick of wishing. That's 30,000 XP. The statue across the hallway appears to be a single piece of wood depicting St. Markovia. Uh, it's covered in bite marks. Mm. Uh, can I try and sneak upstairs? Um, you can, or you can check out the rest of the room. I'll check out the rest of the room. So, sever- uh, the next room, seven mongrels are seated in the middle of this room forming a ring. They appear to be chanting a spell. Uh, am I familiar with the spell? Uh, speaking some kind of gibberish. Are you? Ma- you're magical? Yeah. Yeah, they're speaking non-magical gibberish. And they're saying something like... Oh, make the bell ring to feed us. Make the bell <laughs> ring to feed us. <laughs> this spell will work. Yeah, all fear the spell. Okay. <laughs> Across the hallway from them, nine Mongol creatures stand in the middle of the room, staring at the doorway with, in silence with hungry looks towards you. Do you want to enter the room? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any of that goat jerky that, that Calixto had? No. no. <laughs> okay, I shut the door. Uh, e. Uh, this room is packed wall to wall with mongrels wallowing in their own Good fill. Lord. The floor is strewn with gnawed Ugh. bones. They come up to the window. Beg you for food. Uh, feed us! Feed the door isn't even locked. It's not even closed all the way. Venus! I'll toss in my my rations. They begin to fight over it. <laughs> I shut the door. One of them is like just grabs random stuff, just grabs filth off the floor and begins to eat it. <sighs> Across the hallway, singing and dancing mongrel folk. Eight mongrels caper about the wreckage of this bedroom. One of them holds up a glittering gold statuette as it leads a mad parade. And they sing this rhyme repeatedly. This is the song. And they repeat and they repeat and they repeat. <laughs> what was that? That was the yodeling of the mongrel folk. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't write the Chris Perkins writes that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Literally in that. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, the devil dwells in his dark house upon the misty pillar. First, he'll taste her sweet, sweet blood, and then he'll have to kill her. Um, it's a happy tune. But anyways, it's carrying this glittering gold statuette of St. Markovia. Um, and then, in the final room, oh wait, there's two more rooms. Um, Fifty mongrels cradle screaming young in the debris-strewn corners of this room while several more hoot, holler, and, and roll on the floor and whack each other with sticks. Uh, there's like mongrel babies in this one. What the, hillbillies? The final one contains a fort made out of piles of shattered furniture and torn draperies. From within the fort you hear mischievous cackle. Do you want to go into the fort? No, I don't <laughs> want to go into the fort. No. <laughs> you guys still look about the uh, graveyard out front, and it's really uninspiring, except for that one with the uh, the, the imprint of the. So there's none with like the. Okay. Nothing. We'll of, take of a use. rubbing of the imprint. Okay. Does that imprint have any meaning to us? Uh, gravestone marked with an uh, is. Carved with roses, bears a three-inch diameter sun-shaped indentation, very similar to the one that the abbot has above the thing, but his is like a big one. Um, engraved beneath the indentation is the name Petrovna. Petrovna. Looks like probably you would take a holy symbol and squeeze it in there. Like the one he's got, the wooden one? No, his is different. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> you guys out in the weeds. You want to pick some, catch some rabbits, chase them around, maybe it grab does, the longbow off the scarecrow? No. no. Do any of the root vegetables look reasonable? Yeah. Grab up a couple of... Okay. Throw them solid. Split. There's sticky fingers for a priest. 
Hey, it's food. <laughs> food and wine. Huh. It's part Apparently, of the Apparently food and, and liquor. It's, you think it might be a carrot, but it's very, very pale and purple. He is, he is what, from... Like purple Romanian? skin and They're pale. They're basically all these. <laughs> and you guys going to do anything else while you're out about? Um, do any graves look disturbed or anything? Nothing. I would stay away from the... The creatures, they yeah, and, they yeah, upset me a little. Yeah, they they uh, kind of want to put them out of their misery, but yeah. yeah. All right, so you go up the stairs. Sure. You try and sneak around the creature while it's got its back turned to you. Yeah. Make a stealth. Don't roll really shitty. Probably a ten or better would be good. Total, <laughs> including your bonus. Who do you suggest I touched? <laughs> no. That one's got the herp now. Fifteen plus okay. six is twenty-one. All right, so you have no trouble sneaking upstairs to the madhouse upstairs. Remember what happens to a thief that goes on his own. Stranded. <laughs> yep, sure does. He Oops. gets all the XP <clears throat> models before the party. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as he's trying to loot the uh, chest of the magic item. He gets scranded. Mm -hmm. So you come upstairs to this door. There's your stairs up. That's the open courtyard. That's where you originally started. There's an upstairs office here. There's a door there. And a door there, door leading out to the courtyard. Inside this room uh, is... All the other furniture is rotted away, leaving only heaps of mold moldy wood and faded cloth, the wood of the counter is old, soft, easily broken. Um, you can hear whoops of laughter and screams of the people below. The clamor continues to the east. Do you want to go into this room? Do you want to go out and look out into the courtyard, scream to your friends? Uh, I'll go that way and just... Roll me a d4, don't roll a 1 or a 3. Don't roll a one or a two. So you're going to go out onto the courtyard, or do you want to go further into the madhouse? Well, I mean, when you say go further into the madhouse... Yeah, you can hear more noises coming from... You're in this little office area yeah. here. You can go take the door to the right, which leads in further to the madhouse, or you can go out onto the causeway walkway. So does it... Do, do, if I creak open the door is it like a corridor or is it like uh, open into a uh, room? if you creak it open uh, it appears to be spacious chamber contains bed frames of wrought iron arranged in two neat rows cobwebs and bits of rotten mattresses cling to each frame the doors are sp there's three doors spaced on the south wall each with a plaque mount not mounted on it from east to west the plaques read operating room nursery and morgue there aren't any Bellevue's in this room, okay. but you hear cackling laughter. I'll shut the door and go out in the courtyard. You don't want to go check out the operating room or the morgue or the nursery. nursery. No, because I don't think there's anything of interest for me in terms of <laughs> arcane objects or magical items or peculiar plants or animals. Plant All right. D4? Yes. <clears throat> One. What do I always roll? <laughs> I. <laughs> One. All right, so what the uh, the, <laughs> the Frankenstein from downstairs comes walking up the stairs. Okay. Shuffling up the stairs. Ding, Fraser, done? So is there another exit Ding, out of this room? Or, or yeah, basically this exit leads to the west out onto the causeway. I'll go out to the... I'll, I'll, I'll scamper out to the causeway. Okay, so out to the upper level, the curtain wall. Scarecrows line the abbey walls looking outward. They wear tattered chain shirts, carry spears with rusty heads. The courtyard below is blanketed with fog. Um, there is a door down here. Or you can hear those guys over here in the garden and you can hear those guys over there in the graveyard I'll, I'll we go, found shit i'll go up to where the guys in the graveyard or do you want to go through the little door right here uh, okay all right so the door itself uh you can see light coming from underneath and it's warm Ooh, i don't like that so you prefer cold light peek <laughs> i'll <laughs> peek before i just open the door okay this is s19 by the way oh 
bunk beds that have disintegrated with age lie in heaps along the edges of this moldy 30 foot square room. Inside is a woman. A woman? Who looks like. She's got stats. Hmm. She appears to be Vistani, um, but dressed like a explorer, adventurer. You know how I bet that is? She says, oh, hi, little one. Um, uh, the bell hasn't rung. You need to go back downstairs. No, no. I have friends that would want to talk to you. Oh, I've talked. Trust me, I have talked to most of the friends here. No, I've, no, I've no, had my full of your mad cackles. I'm not of this, this world. That's uh, what you all say. Dudes. Um, oh, um, the one that's missing. Yeah. I'm going to cast a... The circus dude? The half elf? I think. Well, well let me guess. You're going to cast a ring the bell spell. <laughs> At the lake. All right. She sits down, folds her arms, bring it. Yeah. You can see from here that she has a prosthetic right leg. Okay, then I'm going to cast a minor illusion of the bell ringing. <laughs> <laughs> dunk! Dunk! Uh, as Miranda, dunk! Is there something Arabella, else you would like me to do? Arabella. You finally figured it out, huh? Uh, guess. Um, as your minor illusion, uh, does it produce sound? Yeah, it's just going to be a sound. Oh, so the entire madhouse begins to erupt with, Food! Food! <laughs> we're so hungry! We're hungry! Cloven! Bring us the food! Um, I will cast. The diva's it. like, Love it! Stop ringing the bell! It's too early! <laughs> Bring us the food! Um, I will. I'll, I'll cast uh, another minor illusion of a Death Eater mask uh, just revolving in the air, kind of above my hand. And just say, I am not a, a, a. I've come from this world. Make a persuasion check because she still doesn't believe you. Do I need to do it double? Cause Probably going to have you locked up. Is she is she human, so I got to do it at disadvantage? Um, no, not for this one. Okay. Well, yeah, let's do disadvantage. Because I rolled an 18, so we probably should do it at All right, yeah, destroy it with a 1. Okay. <laughs> 20! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> See? I touched your dice. Thank you. So my lo- lesser roll was an 18. Her eyes get really big. Do you serve the abbot? Or no. Okay. I'm looking for Rectavio. Have you seen him? It's Esmeralda. No, but my friends know him. I oh, think. they know him. <laughs> yeah. They know him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you dumb whore. <laughs> <laughs> you got to use the voice. <laughs> and the mask. <laughs> and the mask. <laughs> All right, you dumb whore. <laughs> I don't give a goblin shit what you do. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I've heard these guys sitting around the campfire talking about their all their, their stuff, so I'll say, I think I know that they were in, um, not Barovia, but what's the other town? Um, the, the Lockheed? The Lockheed, no, they yeah. a letter for her, from Rictavio. Yeah, in fact, they've got a letter for you from Rictavio. And they're not up here, are they dead? No, they're down for some reason groveling around in the graveyard oh. looking for some soul to inhabit a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> you know, we're in an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good here. Yeah. You There's know, no judging. Eventually it makes sense. <laughs> So anyways, you call up your pals. You guys all end up in this room talking to Esmeralda Diavner. That looks like this. Like a pirate woman. She looks like a pirate woman. She's got a prosthetic leg. She no pirate? pirate? <laughs> she is not a pirate. She is Vistani. Mm-hmm. 
I will take the letter out that I have mm-hmm. and hand it to her. I'll be like, I don't know why Rictavio wanted to deliver this, but he said we would find you and that we should give this to you. Help me, Esmeralda. You're my only hope. Oh, God. <laughs> Help me, Esmeralda. You're my only hope. <laughs> Play back the whole message. All right, so you pull out the letter, and she reads it, and she starts getting a tear in her eye. And she starts to look angry, and she crumples it up. Just... <laughs> <laughs> there goes the resale value. <laughs> she says, where is he? He was in Velaki when we last saw him. We need to fetch him. I need to be here when, when, when that damn vampire arrives. <clears throat> the vampire's for, coming here for the bride. Mm. For for this bride? And that'll be the end of it. <laughs> she whips her little hand axe around, which will clearly drop him in one blow. Hi. Oh, I believe. Ask Dave how many characters he's this. changed tonight. How many? One. Yeah. <laughs> Did the elf die? New record. <laughs> he's playing a, a house that? elf. <laughs> He's playing a house elf from Harry Potter verse. Are you Dobby? No, I'm more like. Then you won't die. He's the evil Dobby. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm more like creature. Dude, he, 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 he had a kid trash talking you. I, oh, I know. <laughs> then he won't die. So <laughs> as <laughs> Esmeralda believes that evil feeds on the innocent. <laughs> New record. <laughs> Is the worst of all evils and it must be destroyed. Uh, Rudolph and Richten. Who's Esmeralda? This lady. She's Rictavio's, a Vistani vampire hunter. Oh, Rictavio. Who was trained sister. by Rictavio. And she's like, I go where angels fear to tread. So what? <laughs> Brothel houses? How was this woman? Uh, 20s, 30s? 30, okay. 6. So she's not like a teenager I can recommend for being. No. She's obviously very confident. She does have some skill with a blade. Now, what she, did she say? Would there would be the marriage at right. the end of it? What did she say there? What was that? Once he gets the bride. Once and it. I asked, which you mean bride? This bride? Uh, there's the creepy one downstairs. The creeper says, "Don't fuck with like." Version A that yeah. now guards well, the we have this one and downstairs. I pull Irina's hair forward. Just... Oh, who's this? Strahd's been drinking her. Strahd's been drinking everybody. Strahd's... Yeah, but this one is Tatiana. <clears throat> or at least he thinks. It's like, why do you keep calling me Tatiana? <laughs> because I don't like you. And that's also what Stra- that's what Strahd has called you. Hmm. She could be valuable. We could probably lead him here with both of them, make a stand, probably in this room, put her in the doorway, use a rope, pull her back just in time, and then we all jump him from here. What do you think Jumping? of that plan? I huh? think that would be very I could, We could do that. I, I think, I think you know, me yeah. and you could probably just take him by ourselves. I like I like you already. <laughs> You're both idiots. Oh, we are going to die. I have a, extra a, supplies. In I've my, already faced him once and chased him off. I've, I've got extra supplies in my full and bloody dead. Or <laughs> I've got extra dead. supplies in my wagon at the tower if we need them. We passed tower? the tower. Are all of you mm-hmm. equipped? I would like better and weapons. And don't just go knocking around my wagon; it'll explode. I would like better weapons than I have. The only way, reason I was able to hurt Strad in the first place is because I made my weapons. You hurt him? Yeah. Uh, you could be valuable. We could put you in the doorway, and when he comes for you, we could pull you out with a rope, <laughs> and then we can all jump <laughs> him. Same. She just keeps repeating the same plan over and over, like it's just all going to happen in this room. Does she seem a little crazy, too? No, she's not crazy. She's just fucking naive. <laughs> she's killed a lot of vampires. She describes some tales of having wiped out various ones and... You know, some of them, some of them turn dust. Some try and take you with them, kind of thing. Is is this a room she's staying in? Or she what? was waiting here until he finishes the thing, the wedding, the the, the dress, all the stuff. Oh, so and Strahd's gonna and ride down on his horse in like a bow tie and and a tuxedo. So the abbot and... doesn't know you're here. Oh, I'm a guest of his. Oh, you're a guest of his. Oh. He doesn't know that I intend to Your son's a book. cut off Strahd's head and fill his mouth full of holy wafers. Okay, Buffy. I've been to your land. 
You got those holy wafers. Did you bring any? I probably have a few. Hmm. Can I have one? Would you like one? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Eats it. What was this stuff? What is this stuff made out of? Unleavened bread. Didn't you go to Sunday school with the Bible with the? Uh, yeah, it was unleavened bread. Doesn't raise up. Right. No. Yeah, I mean, it's more like a cracker. Yeah. You're a cracker. But it is actually yeah, God's I flesh. I think <laughs> that Rick Tavio does need your assistance, though. He said you would know what to do. I can't leave here. Maybe we could send word somehow. There's a raven in the morgue. You could probably send the raven. Oh, yeah, just like sending a message by Al. <laughs> of course. She looks at you. In the morgue? And then she looks at the adults. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a demon, baby. <clears throat> so, what's the plan? We can't really make a move until uh, until we got this dress. What do you know about the... Uh, have you been to the lake? The pool? Yeah, the there's some pool end? up there. Got the morning lord facing east. There seems to be something going on with this pool and souls. Well, there is some running water, and I know that you can immerse a uh, vampire in running water, and it kills him. That is true. You are like it's bed under, a underground track spring. Line. You know this. <laughs> it's a good track. You need though. to get out. You need to maybe have date or something. I've seen vampires tied to rail tracks and had mine carts cut off the legs and the heads, and sometimes they still keep kicking. Mm. As you go up and wait, I, I can, <laughs> do, I can the legs that have been cut off still kick. Well, see if they're or they stumpy little kind. There's of some strides, the stumpy legs. Have you seen <laughs> strides? You've you've heard of strad zombies? You cut off the body parts and they keep going. You guys, we, I think you've encountered them. Yes, we've experienced that. So, anyways, yeah, she's got the one track mind on that. Um, Well, we have we found a child born without a soul, and we are trying to figure out how to break whatever is keeping the souls back. Is it a vampire? No, <laughs> it is not a vampire. I can't solve your problem. <laughs> a very one-dimensional NPC. Have you talked? <laughs> have you talked to Madame Eva? Yes. Long time ago, yes. She pulls out a deck of Taroka cards. Ooh. Did she read your cards? Yes. Did she tell you how to kill the vampire? She mm. said several things about how to kill a vampire. Are you a girl driven to insanity? <laughs> girl driven to insanity. Doesn't make any sense. Mm, I don't know. You're seeming kind of crazy to me. Is she a vampire? We uh, have to look for a woman that hangs above a roaring flame. Find her and you will find, find the, the final death. death. That'll be inside the castle. You guys ready to go? When the wolf Should we do this now? No, Tonight? we are not. No. Tonight. Tonight? <laughs> no, no, I'm ready. no. Do you no. have a silvered greatsword? <laughs> Have you seen this, baby? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a bastard. It's song. all right. It, it, it's it's yeah. like it's. She okay, goes up we're, and we're gonna separate she, these two. She, she goes up to you and she's like, <laughs> "You guys are banging swords together, making sparks." <laughs> oh Lord in heaven, God. Nice clothes. Thank you. Been around. Places, yes. Hmm. Well, oh, bam. Here, there, all over Barovia. Yeah, where you been to outside of Barovia? Because I know you can leave. It was the dungeon. Wait, you can inside. leave? Uh, it's probably because he's a demon. Wait. It's okay, it'll be our little secret. <laughs> Why? You know See, she's slightly crazy. Why do you want to kill Strahd? I've heard that some of the Vastani don't. That they they work, they work for him. Um, everybody has to be loyal. But this hoe ain't loyal. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, that answers my question. Are there other Vistani that... Uh, no, that not a one here. But my race tends to be pretty fatalistic. And if you know what Strahd wants... What does Strahd want? His bride. He wants to die at the end of my sword. Yeah, that's not exactly true. And what do you, what think? Do you know of what Strad wants? Well, who wants to die at the end of a sword? I mean, really. I except, for, except for stupid over here. <laughs> um, Better than dying in your bed and shitting yeah. yourself. In, in eternal, like he's going to do. An eternal creature that is bored with his ex- existence. <laughs> I wouldn't want Look, to die. I'm, I, 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 I'm excited about my... So what do you think, Amanda? <laughs> they want to find... <laughs> she totally dismisses everything you just said. <laughs> they want to, So they need a dress in order to potentially make this ceremony happen. Yeah. Strahd's bound to show up for a wedding to another one of his brides. We get him in this little entranceway. I pull... <laughs> Wait, where were we? I could put two of you in the doorway. Oh, okay. That'll bring him twice as fast. That way, he if he tries to reach for one of you, the other one gets a backhand across his skull. We pull you back, pulls him into the room. We could probably set up a clamp trap from the sides. That Why shoots do you? I don't have all the glory. And then I we stake and pour running water. We do have somebody here. Is it I don't think you do realize the as well? quite how... Well, we'd act as a team. How s- I would lead the team, and then we do this... Pincher strike. <laughs> but of course, nobody would be capable of the final blow except for me. I don't care who strikes a single blow. I would probably beat you to it. Well, In fact, we'll there's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. I'm, I get it. I'm going to I'm gonna open up the wine and just start drinking. <laughs> I get it. You're... Spoken like a true priest. <laughs> Your father wanted a son, and now you're overcompensating. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I had a werewolf bite off my right leg, and I stopped the bleeding by cutting off the rest of it. We're all really impressed. <laughs> you seem to have both legs. I think you just need somebody to hold you. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a hug. Don't let the, don't let the watcher touch you. <laughs> All right. Many men have tried. <laughs> Uh-oh, Amanda's standing. <laughs> All right, so what's your plan? <laughs> I don't think you should wait here. I think you should come with us and meet with Rictavio. I, Irina and, and uh, Ismark have been looking over the cliff, taking turns spitting over the ledge <laughs> onto the graves below. Let me tell you this. One thing we do know is he's already come for her multiple times. She, Irina here, is the key <laughs> to getting Strad. That little twerp? The little twerp. Hmm. I know, she doesn't look like and much. She can't take a hit either. The, this, she's been bitten? This, twice. She's been is she bitten a vampire? Twice. No. No. But if you come <laughs> with us and stay with her... Strahd will show up. Strahd will show up. And where are we going to have our this last stand with your grand plan? At least I got a plan. Well, we have to have somewhere to burn <sighs> He's down. just going to show up and we're, we're trying, just going to throw holy water on him. and We're trying to gather the, our strength and get... What Madame Eva told us to find. Do you have Strahd's journal? No. Do you have his book? Do you have the book of Strahd? No. Do you have the sun sword? (laughs) We are looking for the sword of light. Do you know who the ally you're going to need is to defeat Strahd? The Night Mother. And do you know what room in the castle you're going to defeat him in? Have you thought this through? Have you played out your cards? We were thinking about S16. That's what we're working on right now, you it's stupid not little in, bitch. It's not in this room. No, they are running in circles with their hands in their pants. I noticed that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure it's safe to hang out with you fellas. You might want to leave the girl with me. No. <laughs> so, Because so. if any vampires come... I'm sure you'd kill her before... Trust me, she's terrible to be with. No, oh, I'm great with teenagers. <laughs> so that's do you knock that's... them unconscious? I am an experienced <laughs> adult. Teenagers always respect an authority figure. 
<laughs> you leave her with her. Sounds like a good plan, yes. It's <laughs> a good plan. I could teach her how to use the stake, the water, and the axe. What else are we going to do? Just drag her around <laughs> with us this whole time? Yeah. We do need to find a... I mean... Well, this, I thought this place was supposed to be a safe place for her, but yes. obviously we were misled. How do you how do you feel? I mean, she was probably better off at the church back then. We could probably uh, bring her back to the church. We have to we still got this whole spirit thing and I mm. We have lots of things to do. We're well, totally botching this whole sandbox. If you go see if you go see Van Richten, I get a message for him. Okay. Tell him my plan. <laughs> he will come up here and he is gonna He was at Hunter. He backs right? me up yeah. on things. You think Rick Tavio is his fake name. Rudolph, Dr. Rudolph Van Richten is his real name. I basically called him out on it. Mm-hmm. She's talking about him backing in fact, up into things. She mentions that he wrote some book. Tobin's very good. No, it's Van Richten's Guide to Vampires, of course. You just passed it. Didn't you? Wasn't it that one right there? Yeah. No. No. Oh, so anyway, she she's got a couple of his journals, a couple of his writings. He's even got one on the created. So one oh, of those he's created. Oh, oh. Don't know what I thought I heard. So the abbot is going to imbue one of those golems downstairs with a soul. Yep. And when uh, Lord Strahd arrives. Strahd is not going to show up for a golem. He will with the, with the golem's got a soul. He can't resist. How do you know that? Because I know vampires. That's a bullshit answer. How do you know I've been that? fighting vampires for 16 years. Strahd is more than just a vampire. What were you doing fighting werewolves? <laughs> fighting werewolves? Your leg got bitten off werewolf by a took off a werewolf. No, it's just playing. Kind of yeah, thing. well... It's a bad day. <laughs> Ex-boyfriend? Ryan, it's like Ryan Lochte all over again. Was, <laughs> was, was it Queen of the Night? What was the name of it? Yeah, Mother Night. Was it Mother Night that took it off your leg? No. Were you trying to get Mother Night? No, I was just taking out a nest of vampires. Uh, and... Uh, you know, you ever been in a room with six enemies and they're way stronger than you, yet you come out on top? Yes, every time. So now you know how it feels. Sometimes, Dave does not no. know that feeling. <laughs> Sometimes the casualties... Two lives ago, that did not happen. Sometimes the casualties, one of these limbs. You are a limb. You are a limb. I buried you. You got excised. <laughs> Did he bury you ass up, though? Probably. No, I didn't. I buried her respectfully. So I took my oath of vengeance. Whatever there was a, there is still a wraith, and there are still those spawn on the loose in the Oh, were you a good paladin until that happened? I am a good paladin. Oh, yeah, that's what I, I I just have... Z- I have zero mercy, and I'm pretty just... He's ruthless. chaotic, evil, awful good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm chaotic, neutral paladin, okay? <laughs> All right. The ultimate justice is the apocalypse. So she's here. Which is the rapture. She's got a safe room here at the Abbey. Um, you could leave Arena here. I'm sure she'd be thrilled uh, to train under the esteemed Esmeralda de Avner of Astana, the protege of Rudolf von Richten, despite the fact that her first encounter with a vampire was anything less than pleasant. Has become a vampire hunter herself. She has a sexy time with a vampire, huh? I say we leave her. So who, who no. was Octavio? So who was that? He was the he was a little guy with the tiger. With tiger. With his, okay, and, has, and he also he has those, a wagon. He those books out for us. Yes. And she okay. just mentioned a wagon she of her own, own that's stored at the tower. Not to we fuck saw with the, the tower on the way. Do so you, you want to hit your horse with the wagon? Oh, okay. Be careful with her wagon, otherwise it'll explode. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't 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 go. It's exactly the kind of wagon I want. I'm out of bombs. Don't go digging through her wagon. She's got junk back there. She's got junk in the wagon. 
Yep. Don't mess with her box. Yep, stay out of her box. I mean, it's trapped. What's All right. The shit up in the box. So just a just a quick refresher on where everything was going. Um, shit in the handbasket. You guys have the. David, take your notes. Yeah. In Kresk, the Burgomaster's son died. And you also have Baby Without Soul. Baby Without Soul. <coughs> baby we Got have. Back. You uh, have the Bone Grinder. You have the Werewolf, the Werewolf Hunters. You also have Strahd's Invite. You took Arena to Kresk, but you did not let her in the pool. You did not let her touch the hand. You did not let her finish any of that. Uh, you did not find Aragal, the Vistana's child. Uh, the Dusk Elves want to resurrect Petrina. Uh, the Blue Water Tavern's taken care of with wine. Uh, there's the Mad Wizard of Bont Baratok. Uh, Lots of side missions, huh? Yeah. You just gave Rectavio's letter to Esmeralda. She now knows that he's in Velaki. You have the still uh, to root out the rest of those druids. The Coffin Maker's Vamps and whatever that spirit was in there. Yes. The Isaac Strozny's on the run. We keep piling on our to-do list and like not finishing off a whole lot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Man, I didn't even know, and I, and I said you guys were running around and sticking with your hands in your pants. <laughs> I said we finish off those druids so that the wine can come back. Oh yeah, and there's the stones. druids. That well, seemed like I'm the, the, the druids. I'm the only one that passes the most here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there are the I druids. Just, I like that you have the orange notes though. Yeah, they're separate. Didn't uh, 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 at that because it's the out of town. Spirit was what didn't because okay. weren't there there were other tombs there mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. were graves that had been mm-hmm. disturbed been, been disturbed. You are a creeper. Well, maybe one of those was the father's tomb. Okay. The bell rings and you guys see being frenzy. Cloven emerge from the out like across the thing goes downstairs gets large bowls, buckets of food. I don't know why we gotta feed them. The little baby head next to it wakes up. Snake tongue comes out. Oh, is that the big ugly thing that was yeah. together? Cloven. Two and a half men? One and a half men? One and a half men. Mm. And it kind of... The big head's like, I don't know why we gotta feed these. The other Bellevues are not good. I need to slop some in the bowls up and down. The uh, golem downstairs leaves him alone. Esmeralda says don't uh, go down there ever again. If the golem traps you in the hall, you'll never leave. Okay. Let's get Duly noted. Alright, so you guys are in Kresk. Uh, so do, we want do you to want to go to the morgue? Probably send her leave. If she's not to go to the morgue, morgue, you have to go through the operating room. I recommend using bright light when you go through the operating room. <laughs> Sorry, when you go through the hospital, use bright light. There are shadows in that room. Well, I can cast light. Remnants of dark souls that perished in this place long ago. Can some of these souls be freed? These can never leave. Why? Some curse on the uh, abbot. I haven't figured it out. I don't think the guy's all with it. But if he, but if he brings in vampires... Double Cracks her up. neck back and forth twice. <laughs> Tightens up her sash a little bit. <clears throat> Checks her boot. Pulls out a dagger. Looks at it. Sharpens a little blemish on it. Shoves it back in her boot. She's like a born killer. She was born this way. You see her look in a mirror in one of the in this room. It's cracked and kind of off to one side. And you see her like mutter some affirmation to herself and then she turns her back around. So are we going to leave the little... Well, what do you think? Do we... Yes. Well, I, I'm... Because, like, I'm wondering about the, the spirit thing. Me too. 
The main focus was to focus on the, the soul's baby. Well, that's that's because there's this thing that the ghost looked to the father's tomb. Is, I just don't know where that. Like that's so uh, vague. That I, I know. know like, Raven, 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 Raven Ovia is the mother of Strahd. The father's name was King Barov. Well, are there any other tombs or graveyards in this town? Mm, pretty much no. They have the families that have the crypts lock the doors. Well, she just mentioned. Some Evidently, stuff. body parts have been or bodies have been going missing <clears throat> lately. <laughs> Don't know what they could possibly <laughs> be doing with them. <laughs> so the vampire hunter just mentioned. Okay, so that's, that's all of the were cursed. Disturbed the graves. Curse related to the abbot, the soul. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she said it had something to do with the abbot. The, the abbot's curse, but she doesn't know what from. Do I have any idea where uh, Barov? What did you say, Barov? King Barov's King tomb Barov's is. Tumors. You roll me a percentile. A 95 through 100 means you have been there. Nope. Okay. 78. You've never been in the castle or to the castle. It's always been a further level out. Um, anyways, the abbot needs a bridal gown. Uh, he doesn't trust the Bellevueans to find one. Um, so what, we need to find. He a says he's going. Gown? He says he's going to go down to the Berg, Burgomaster Kreskov and uh, instruct him to find a gown. Hopefully within the month. No one in Kresk is able to fashion such a gown. Um, well, I mean, do we need to? Is that our? Well, what if what if we here? offered to find a dress if the abbot would put a soul in that baby's body? Would you consider this? You could also resur- You could also uh, put a soul in the dead body of the burgomaster's son instead of some random Barovian. But I'd do that if you could convince him to get me a. That if you could convince him to get a uh, gown, the abbot says. Does um, Irina have any? Gowns that would fit back in Barovia. Or... In Velaki, there's probably <coughs> gowns. They have nothing here? Nothing in this town. This town's too small. Uh, the dressmakers are. Mm-hmm. Lady Petrovna, the wife of Velaki's burgomaster, owns a beautiful white bridal gown. Petrovna? <laughs> That was the... Weren't they all the killed? Tuesday? Petrovna, yep. Yeah. It's the name on the... Right. Or you can spend 50 gold pieces to uh, have one made. Usually in Blocky. You'd still have to get there, get back, whatever. Anyways, Anna, the Burgermaster's wife, um, through all this hullabaloo, has, would, would be willing to go to Blocky. If you guys would ask quarter to that one. Back to Velaki. Back to Velaki. <laughs> it's just like most role playing games. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think? Do, do we? We don't want to try and help this vampire hunter lure Strahd now, and we don't have anything that the prophecy says we need to kill him. Okay. So plus we're only level five. This goes up to level ten. <clears throat> so, Velaki's. So the probably, wife of Velaki's burgomaster, Lydia Petrovna, owns a beautiful white bridal gown. The burgomaster in Velaki. So we probably should go back to Were Velaki. they soulless? Yes. The burgomaster in Velaki. Which we burned the... Which, well, and they were also... Burned to the we them <laughs> and the town lynched <laughs> the family. Well, we can work on that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> Way to go, fuck tards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wasn't even here for that one. Somebody <laughs> other than them might be able to make one in Velaki. 
For 50 gold pieces. <laughs> Burgermeister was nice. Or yeah, you could have just gotten one, one yeah. from Lady Lydia Petrovna. Well, what's the other woman, though, that, that likes us now? Oh, she, the, yeah, she because she, that, she, oh, she the had some, some, some noble doctor, yeah. So you remember Lydia Petrovna? Beautiful model-like face, really. Yeah, that'd be a lovely yeah. wedding gown. Was, was he corrupt or something? Is that why he, he had he had an absolutely <coughs> fully evil servant that was. He had an yeah. evil servant, so they so made sure the entire family. He was also died. he was also imprisoning lots of people in the town. He was yeah, a bad man. But why was he imprisoning them? Well, smiling. Because they weren't smiling. Because he was ruling over an Orwellian dystopia. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> Really? Is that how Creeper would talk? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 1030. That'll be it for tonight. We'll figure out what to do next time. So we should actually make a... Someone should print out like an action item list. Oh, I, I have the I action created, item list. I created Trade the here. action item list. Just do you know how many things I have checked off? One. So this is the list. I'll type up everything okay. I have Two. here. One. One. You got Wine of the Blue Water Inn and to the Vistani. Oh, and yeah, two. Cresc. And you got Rictavio's letter to... What's your butt? And we got wine to cruising, Cresc. man. And we got wine. We got wine to the wines. We can go... S- going back to Velaki, we could sneak back into Bone Grinder and steal the thing that we know is in there. Fucking Bone Grinder. Maybe we could talk uh, it's a place we, into it. Like it's a place stuff. where yeah, the nice little old them. ladies make pies. Oh, listen, and, <laughs> and these guys are too yeah. weak to murder them for their pies. It's actually so. my flaw. That you can't murder people for five. I have to play with dangerous artifacts. No, let's just say that they were going to kick our ass. Yeah. I could not hurt them. They were... They were tough. They were bad. I only ass. fled because I had to carry you away. Because you got knocked unconscious. Hey, we were level Dave, three. Like, we're level five now. <laughs> they were rocked by level nine. Dave's character... Snuck if up he had made, the children, I, if he had made one change, if he had changed one decision and gone upstairs instead of downstairs, or yeah, he had to check one more room. Brett, were you with us when Jay lured me into the attic, <laughs> the Lord of the Eagles? Yes, actually. Yes. Yeah, and so <laughs> trapped me in there with like the sixteen bats. giant bats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes, that was the that, that was the the, 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 the same kind of encouragement I was getting. So I <laughs> stick your head up into the attic. Yeah. Out. So I I chose to disregard that suggestion. What happened with that adventure? Well, we finally went to Lance Rock. Yeah, that was the first thing we were <laughs> supposed <laughs> to do. That was, that was because key. there was a major component <laughs> to get to the end of the adventure. Adventure. Yeah. You had to get it. Basically, like the prophecy. Did you have to kill everybody though? Yeah. Or were you able to, like, you know? No, you have to kill the Lord Lance Rock. Dude, yeah. all right, one dead or evil. All right, I don't care what your fucking bird monk says. Were you, <laughs> were you there when the undead gelatinous cube made up of zombie parts was squeezed out like sausage from the front door? No, no, I turned into the gelatinous cube. So <laughs> That's right. I was a gelatinous monk cube and ended up actually being more powerful as a gelatinous <laughs> monk cube. Yeah, you really were. <laughs> You were a lot more powerful, actually. <laughs> I was like, holy shit! I thought I'd be upset, but I'm not! <laughs> You're a flying monk boogie. <laughs> a flying monk cube of death. So there's this windmill with this, some sort of. Hag. Show them the there's windmill. There's three hags. Oh. Yeah, it's. The fan? Oh. No, it's. <laughs> It's the it's the it's the Nazi the Aryan windmill. Of <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, who wants to hear me sing that song again? Oh, I do. No. Oh, I could listen to that all night long. Did someone really post that? I posted it. Oh, you made it. Ryan, I'm there's like, your, there's your I gotta make spells. up like yodeling of the mongrel right folk. Right. So the palette oh, stuff. Totally forgot. So anyway, it's gonna out and shit the next time. Yeah. Do you guys know what the song means? About the, the devil. Well, once he marries the bride, he's gonna kill, kill her. Yeah. <coughs> once he tastes her, her. Once he tastes her blood. So what's the when's the next one? Twenty-seven. Two weeks. Oh, yep. Okay. <coughs> End session.